former silver medalist in the World Championships from Turkey, Mihail Skan. And in one Chilogi, please welcome the, form, the silver medalist for this year's Antalya Grand Slam from Hungary, Todd Christian. Yeah, Todd Christian has shown some good form already this year, winning the silver at the Grand Slam in Antalya. Mm -hmm. Skank lost out his semi final against Lasha Bekauri and then came into the rubber charge here for this bronze medal contest. Todd Christian, the Hungarian, lost against the Georgian. Eka Kuniashvili in the pool final. Now he is ready, hopefully ready, for this bronze medal contest. Very short but compact Todd is. Little power package. Difficult to get close or underneath him. Yes, he's and there. Yeah, it was the easier for him to yes. get underneath. Yeah. <laughs> just a few quick yeah. steps. Yeah. Skunk is much much taller, longer legs, and so should open a little bit more for Todd. The possibilities for dropped attack. Both penalized. Oh, lost his grip there. Todd. Well, just really struggling here to get the contact they need. Very good on the defence as well. This is a good-looking yeah. curve here from Skank, but it just couldn't couldn't use it yeah. on the ground with, without any rotation or, the, or initial movement to yeah. bring Todd on his back. Yeah. Skank was a European champion back in 2019. Yeah. And uh, also probably his best result, a Masters uh, bronze medal, whereas uh, Tot, former world silver medalist, he has a couple of uh, European medals, but uh, hasn't yet to uh, win a gold. It's been such a tough uh, weight category, hasn't it, yes. this one? Yeah, absolutely. Almost all top 10 world ranked players are coming really from Europe and they're almost all here. And it's incredible when, when I uh, see Todd's career, he, he became junior world champion 2014 and already had contact to the world, to the top uh, of the world at senior level. And he really had no problems to come, to come from, from junior to senior. Yeah. Sometimes you need a few, a few years at least to collect experience. And, you know, this is quite something different. Yeah. Um, but he really had no problems then. Of course, many, many competition. Ooh, yeah, good attack here from Skank. Yeah. Then also injuries because of this high level uh, training and, 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 and um, competition calendar the full calendar was full mm -hmm. and if you have to mix between junior and seniors oh that was a, yeah. a superb little dummy twitch to the front and then yeah. try to take it to the rear yeah i think for me Todd, he's been really consistent yeah. over the years as he always seems to get into the medals he always uh, shows really good judo as well 
Yeah, then some some of the injuries threw him back. Mm. He got problems with the shoulder. But it's nice to see him still and back again and strong again. Yes. Find his place. Oh, we are now coming to the last 40 seconds here. No score so far. Just two penalties against one penalty. Well, the low Sianaki there from Zank as well. Uh, it's interesting as well because uh, he's a little bit taller than his opponent and he's normally trying to close the distance down and uh, pull top close to him because uh, he needs that space for his style of technique. He likes to dip underneath, but without the space, it's impossible. Yeah. Yep. A fast reaction there. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Two good attacks. Huh? Expect a golden score. <laughs> yeah. What's going to happen when we four minutes are up? If there's no clear score on the board, we'll go into a golden score period. So endless till we see a uh, throw or a uh, score on the ground, either a hold down or shimmy wazza or an arm lock. Or uh, if one of the one of the players gets three shidos, it's, uh, it's all over then. Yeah. Skunk, former Slovenian judoka. Starts for Turkey. Well, some of them, the fighters, changed. So the first, the first score or the third penalty against Todd, because you already received two. The third would be the, the end of this bronze medal contest and the win for Skunk. Well, both athletes here yeah, really are getting tired. And uh, well, it's a chance of an error yeah. more than anything so you may see a counter technique that was a good effort wasn't yeah, it yeah and it was close yes. just a little bit more of pu pushing and rotation in the end that was a good one yeah Oh, oh! well, that was a nice piece of work. Just a little bit of tired effort at the end, but trying to put some combinations together. Yeah. Trying to get a bit more movement than there. Well, it's a tricky situation now, isn't it, with the two Shidos each? I mean, the net one arrow, one false attack. Yeah. It's going to lose them the contest. And that's it. Mm -hmm. And the more time is going over, the harder it is, the harder it is mm -hmm. to, to come through with a really dangerous attack. <sighs> and power is gone there. Yeah, both really explosive as well. So a lot of energy already spent. And uh, yeah, also there's no real transition on the ground. You'll see that a lot in some uh, athletes because they, they really specialize in that. But sometimes when you get so tired, you can't afford to waste time trying to get something uh, working on the ground because uh, if it doesn't and you, you stand up, oof, it's, uh, it's really difficult. Yeah. Nice little touch of Ashiwaza. Could be the trick.
for Tot. All these uh, big actions are really difficult now. There's uh, another chance with the Ouchi. Oh, loses his. Oh, this is oh, always dangerous yes. to keep your back to your opponent. He had some good attacks before, mm -hmm. a good combination. Yeah. Could be now the. Let's have, let's have a look if they already decide. No, they yeah. let it go because, I mean, the two attacks before came from Chot. Then he stopped, turned his back to his opponent. was kind of dangerous. But not forbidden action. Yeah, and that's a dangerous uh, action as well. The low Sianagi and coming right up for it, you can get countered quite easily on that. But uh, when you're getting tired, it's hard to start to make those decisions. Well bit of a tired effort as well just lost his gripping towards the end yeah well we're well into three minutes of golden score now so you That's can imagine time already. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and okay. I think Tottenham has come up with something again skunked it the last few attacks here again otherwise mm. We will get another penalty. I wonder if he's going to get another chance here. Mm -hmm. It's up to Todd mm. now to come up with something or just standing and show that the attacks are not that dangerous. Yeah. But it was, uh, tactically it was well done from the Turkish. Three attacks I think now about in a row. Well, they may look at that action and see whether it was a false attack. He can be lucky. The thing is, yeah. yeah. But that's an absolutely latest frame. Oh. Like, oh, what? Yes, yes, yes. That was just, yes. that was just an, uh, oh. a moment where both attacked, you know. I mean, Skank yeah. came up and thought at the same moment, yeah. had the idea of the coach, uh, Gake, yeah. Kosovo Gake. Yeah. And, uh, and he was kind of, he was on his way down. He'd, he'd gone to do the Sutemi su Waza, but the, the feeling was there. Yes. And, uh, well, yeah. Yeah, a bit of a dummy twitch, wasn't it, into the... <laughs> Using that Ashiwaza action. Oh, good sportsmanship in the end. Absolutely. I mean, both, and especially oh. also Todd. Yeah. Todd Christian is yeah. absolutely sportsman. Fair. And we will see him later on the podium. Yeah. <laughs> that was a. What a long day. You can see wow. in his face the relief, how happy he is. Yeah. <laughs> Todd Christian. Bronze medal winner. Some highlights of that fight be before we come to the final in the under 90 kilo category. Thank you. 